Our gospel today is perhaps one of the saddest because it tells us a story of betrayal. And of all forms, we, all, we see here a betrayal of a friend. Judas betrays his friend, Jesus. Judas, who is not an outsider, but part of the inner circle of Jesus. Judas, who was one of the twelve. Jesus drops an announcement like a bombshell. One of you will betray me. The disciples were puzzled. Who could it be? But Jesus knew very well. Who could it be? Judas, his friend. We do not know the real motives of Judas. We could only suspect. William Barclay suggests three. First, it could be because of greed and love for money. The sum for which he agreed to betray Jesus was 30 pieces of silver, a huge amount, but not so huge as to betray a friend or to lose your friendship with Jesus. If love of money was the cause of his act of treachery, it is perhaps the most terrible example in history of the depths which love of money can reach. Second, it may have been because of bitter hatred based on complete disillusionment. The Jews always had their dream of power. Therefore, they had their extreme nationalists who were prepared to go to any lens of murder and violence to drive the Romans from Palestine. These nationalists were called the Sikari or the dagger bearers because they followed a deliberate policy of assassination. It may be that Judas was such and that he had looked on Jesus as the divinely sent leader who with his miraculous powers could lead the great rebellion. He may have seen that Jesus had deliberately taken another way, the way that, that led to a cross. And in his bitter disappointment, Judas' devotion may have turned first to disillusionment and then to a hatred which drove him to seek the death of the man from whom he had expected so much. Judas may have hated Jesus because he was not the Christ he wished him to be. Or third, it may be that Judas never intended Jesus to die. It may be that, as we have seen, he saw in Jesus the divine leader. He may have thought that Jesus was proceeding far too slowly, and he may have wished for nothing else than to force his hand. He may have betrayed Jesus with the intention of compelling him to act. And that would perhaps explain why, Jesus, why Judas was shattered into suicide when his plan went wrong. But however we look at it, the tragedy of Judas is that he refused to accept Jesus as he was. And he tried to make him what he wanted him to be. Isn't this sometimes our tendency in our relationship with Jesus? We try to make Jesus what we want him to be. We fit Jesus into the mold that we have in mind. And instead of being changed by him, it is Jesus whom we want to change for us, for Jesus to fit into that mold. But no, it is not Jesus who can be changed by us. It is we who must be changed by Jesus. We can never use him for our own purposes. Rather, we must allow ourselves to be used by him for his purposes, for the purpose of advancing the kingdom of God here on earth. Amen.